Hello everyone, today we are going to be looking at the connection of this specific camera, this mode of the camera, to your smartphone. Now, we shall, uh, the connection, we are going to explain the connection for both the uh, Android and also the iOS devices. This time we are going to use the Apple phone to do our connection. So the camera, it has a loudspeaker here, that means that uh, you can talk back like an intercom, you can speak to somebody through your phone wirelessly to the camera and you can also listen back because it has microphones all over you can uh, add your memory card in case uh, you want to it to record locally without uh, using the internet and behind it has uh, the power that's uh, the one that gives it the power and then the reset button for the reset button in case you want to reset let's say it has been connected to a specific phone and you want to, sh to switch all you have to do is uh, press the reset button for about five seconds until you hear it talk now it is resetting okay now that's the part with the camera now let's look at the connections when it comes to the phone so for the phone uh, first you need to you need to download uh, the application from either Google Play Store or the Apple Store ours is already downloaded so we shall go ahead ahead and open it uh, of course uh, they'll have their agreement yes you say we've read and agreed uh, you can allow all these and then it goes to the login and register now login is for somebody who already has an account but since this is new to our phone uh, let's say you've just bought it and you don't have an account yet you can go to register now register this will create the account you'll be able to use to view the footage from the camera uh, and, but uh, if you're going to do it yourself if it's your camera and you're the only one who is going to monitor then you can just go ahead and use this logo below it now for Apple you use the Apple account for Android phones you have the Google account but unfortunately if you use this option that means that you have to share your credentials to another phone that will have to view this thing let's say uh, it's being surveillance at your home and then you would want your wife and you to be able to watch the footage from the phone then I don't recommend you use this option you just create an account put in your email and then the country and then you create an account that way you can share that email plus the password you've just created to anyone but for our case let's just go ahead and use uh, use uh, I use the the Apple the Apple account so that we do it first eh? okay so you wait for it to register the account to our ID. It will ask you for which region you want to select. Uh, let me select um, Africa. Uh, this app has been connected to a device before, so I will delete that because we want to show a new connection. So this is the way you would receive a new application to your phone. All you have to do is either go to add device or go to this plus sign. Both of them will do the same thing. <clears throat> so, right now, it's uh, it has opened the QR scanner, but we're not going to use that. This option is possible if you want to scan this code, but this is a longer procedure. Let's go with the easy one. So what you do, <clears throat> you just go to this option that has cannot find QR code on the device. So basically, you click in the blue banner that comes so that it gives you more options. Now for our case, we're going to use the Wi-Fi, we're going to select the Wi-Fi smart camera and then go to the AP hotspot connection. It's the quickest way I would recommend to everyone. So what I'm going to do right now is put in our password. So please hold on, I don't want to show our password. Now our password is entered. So all we have to do is confirm. So for your case, what you have to do, it will scan the Wi-Fi networks around and then you select which one you want to, uh, your phone, your camera to be connected to that means that uh, to use this camera you need uh, an internet connection so most times uh, you could uh, buy a small modem or a router for your home <clears throat> for the connections that way you can be able to receive a live footage but still also if you want to connect it you don't want to use internet you can still go ahead and use the memory card that way it will be storing all the footage uh, to the to the to the memory card so we shall go ahead and confirm this uh, the next option will be connect to AP spot. That's the hotspot. So the the camera, the phone will try to communicate with the camera. 
and create an, a hotspot. So this is the hotspot, the camera. Now what, what this thing does, eh? this camera will try to communicate with a phone that's trying to request something from it. Eh? So it creates a hotspot for the phone. So all we have to do is uh, click on the hotspot it has created. Now it is created. So we have, what we have to do is now go back to our application and then allow this. Hold up. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So it's trying to communicate to the camera and then sending the credentials of our hotspot sending the credentials of our hotspot to the camera that way this setup is only done once so the camera will remember the password of the wi-fi and um, it will always be automatically connecting to that wi-fi without needing the phone that has done this so we are waiting for that connection between the wi-fi and the camera itself wi now we know we've had the camera say the wi-fi has been connected but we keep waiting okay now it uh, it is successfully added so uh at this point you select where the camera is going to be placed you can have several cameras into this app uh, let's say this one is for the office or you can just manually write it down maybe it's going to be for the shop and it's not listed among the quick options here so you can say this is maybe uh for shop one and then just click finish so that way the camera will be named shop one that means that uh, in case you add a second camera it will be listed here and another one will be listed everyone having the name that you've given it so let's try to open this and see so for the first time it's trying to do the login into the camera so um now logging in remember this is the first time that you're using this eh? the first account we created is the account having the cameras but then you also need to create a password specifically for the cameras for the access of the camera so what we do we go ahead and set a password um, what should we use let's call it camera uh, make it stronger so i'll say camera at one two three so the password is weak but uh, this for demonstration purposes so we said it was let me be sure camera with capital c camera at one two three so we shall go ahead and confirm now our camera is live let me move it manually uh, the place we are in is a bit dark but uh, and by the way you can do the controls of the camera from here you can move it to oh it's not clear because it has uh, a sticker on top eh? yeah so you can do you can remotely control from anywhere in the world you can switch uh, the picture from SD to HD for more clarity you can listen in to everything that's being said through the camera let's say if you've left it home I don't know whether you can hear that uh, the sound uh, the, I'm speaking but it's also coming through the phone though the phone audio is low um, the other thing you can do, you can speak back like an intercom. Let's enable this. It's uh, trying to access the microphone. So uh, when I press and hold the speaker button, press and hold, then I can speak, and then it will speak to the the camera like an intercom. So in case you're away and then you don't have air time to call somebody, or if you see a thief, you can tell him, Derek, you've been the one stealing our stuff. Like you can communicate through it. Yeah, also, uh, you can record live footage. Maybe you want to uh, record a clip. So right now it's recording this clip. And then when I click it again, okay, it was too short because it allows you up to at least uh, five seconds to record the clip. You can take pictures and then it saves them into your phone. Uh, you can replay the recordings. Uh, if there is an SD card, then you, are, you can go back and record. It will show you a calendar here and show you all the times that it has recorded. You just go back to that date and then walk through all the time it has started recording. You can buy cloud storage in case, um, let's say, a thief can come and steal the camera. But then if uh, you're storing with the cloud or straight to your phone, they can never steal that footage. 
So uh, the subscription for the online storage is I think uh, one dollar. It's about one dollar a month. That's about just twelve dollars. It's less than um, I think eighty thousand. But let's go back to this. <clears throat> so uh, let's say if uh, you've connected about five cameras to this uh, to, the, to your phone, eh? you just you can go here to this option, these squares. Eh? You click on it. It will map them all up. So it will show you footage for all the locations you have. If there are shops, then it will show you all the locations uh, live of the of the of the recordings. So uh, that's the other option. Then the other, uh, there are more options. You can uh, add the face tracking. So it will it, uh, when you, when you put that option, it will be tracking the movements. You get if it sees a detection, it will keep following it. So if somebody enters your shop or your house, the camera will follow that person from the time they've entered and then keep on following them to wherever they are. So there's that option and then you can also uh, set guard positions. Uh, let's say uh, in case it has moved to a certain position, uh, it shouldn't stay there forever. Let's say somebody has just passed, it shouldn't stay there forever. You can set a guard position, that way it can always come back to that position in case there is no footage wherever it had uh, settled at. Uh, the other options, there are so many other options. You can uh, look at the settings, you can put it... Uh, let me go back to this. You can put it... Uh, iPhones. Eh? You can put it to full screen. Either my fingers are so small or too big for this phone. Yeah, so basically, uh, when you go back, you can uh, go to more options here. Uh, set the settings now with the settings you can set the alarm uh, when do you want uh, it to send you the alarm to your phone uh, update the firmware uh, you can make it uh, uh, set alarms to the camera itself or to the phone you can make it send you updates whenever it sees uh, movement you can set uh, the human detection you can set the quality uh, right now we don't have uh, the SD card installed you can set uh, whether you want it to be recording continuously or only when it uh, detects um, somebody moving, uh, you can set which kind of shapes it should detect um, uh, for the motion. Because uh, sometimes uh, if you leave it to Geno, it can uh, detect anything that's moving, but you can set it to, uh, to detect only human shapes for it to record. Uh, basically, there's so many things you can do. You can, uh, you can do an inversion. Uh, let's say if you're going to put it on the ceiling, you can uh, invert it from the settings so that it gets you an upright image. And there are so many other things that uh, you can explore, explore with this camera. So, uh, also, uh, you know, those annoying uh, voices, uh, it talks, it keeps speaking back. Maybe if you don't want that, maybe if you're going to set it somewhere and it's a quiet place and you don't need it to keep talking every time, you just go to settings, then advanced settings, and then you remove the prompts, you switch them off. So that's uh, basically everything with the connection of this camera. I hope you enjoy it. And in case you get any issues, have no problem uh, contacting us for any help.